Well, it was a great pleasure this weekend watching uh, Qaddafi falling. Uh, I was just watching a piece right now. Evidently, Qaddafi is holed up in his compound. I guess he means to to go out fighting and die a martyr. Um, yeah, you know, NATO may have screwed it up because anytime NATO has to get involved, you know, uh, deciding who to bomb, you know, this isn't just random stuff. They get in contact with certain people. They're helping certain leaders. Those guys are the guys that get supplied with weapons and bullets. And it's like, even if the even if D. Land and Cole was the guy out there trying to decide what Libyan rebels to give guns to, the pressure to do that and the time you have, how could you... Be, be a good judge of character and NATO isn't really usually the best judge of character they have a tendency to choosing people that all um, do favors uh, later so we'll, we'll see how much that screws things up but I do believe that the the revolution is a natural thing I believe there's an Arab Spring uh, an Arab awakening I would love in my lifetime to see uh, the Arab world recover and uh, you know, and I stopped listening to all this. They just fight for billions of years, it's in your blood. Kind of fucking bullshit, you guys can just bite me. Um, maybe learn a little history, who knows. Uh, so, yeah, so that's good when the guy's doing the major showdown at the moment. I was surprised. I didn't really pay attention yesterday, and I figured the news I was missing was that, oh, they got Qaddafi. But he still hold up firing missiles at Tripoli. And... But it was fun watching this weekend. People in the streets talking about their freedom. One guy was like, we thought we were free 40 years ago. No. But now, yes. And it's kind of like, well, I hope so. Anyway, you know, in politics, from the frying pan into the fire is sometimes um, the best option. And you don't know if you're really going to be in the fire or not. Uh, Libya has a hard road ahead, but who doesn't? Um, so, yeah. Congratulations, Libya, on your chance at freedom. And here's to a, a democratic establishment forming. Cheers.